everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Becky's Cupboard Cocktails. Um, as part of our Travel the World from Your Sofa, we're in Greece this week, so all three of our cocktails today are very loosely inspired by Greece. Okay, so let's kick things off with our strawberry dream. For this recipe, you are going to need um, strawberries, lemon juice, honey, gin, Greek yogurt and black pepper. To start, you have to chop up your strawberries. Here's some I prepared earlier. Um, and it says that we're going to combine the strawberries, lemon juice and honey in a shaker. Look at my new toy. I'm practically a professional mixologist now because I've got all the gear and no idea. So, combine the strawberries. So that was two strawberries that it told us to put in. And then it says the lemon juice. So for lemon juice, we need 1.5 tablespoons. So one. Point five, and then it says one tablespoon of honey so we've just got this squeezy honey which doesn't look very runny oh. so one tablespoon <sighs> muddled together until well broken up so just going to give it a stab. Okay, so once that's nice and broken up, because that looks awful, um, it says to add the gin and the yoghurt. That's one, two, three. So we've just got this massive tub that our mum puts on her breakfast from Aldi. So one heaped teaspoon. Oh. Then it says, fill it with ice and give it a good shake. Fill it with ice, pop the lid on and make sure the lid's on properly and give it a shake. enough because my arms are tired now so then it says um, strain it into a glass this I think you could just put use that with a if you don't have like a an official cocktail shaker like me you could always just use like a Tupperware tub maybe or like a protein shaker if you have one of them um, and then just use a sieve to strain it but this has got little holes to strain it I think that should work coming out <laughs> then you're going to grab yourself a nice glass and we're going to pour the strained mixture into that Ooh. now there's still a few little bits in it but I guess if you really don't want any bits you could just strain it again and then you're going to grab a little strawberry to garnish pop it on the side like this and it says to garnish it with black pepper now maybe not a lot because so I'm just gonna put it in my hand first and then sprinkle it on the top I'm not sure what this actually brings to the cocktail but who knows and there we have a strawberry dream. Let's try it. That's actually really nice. I got a bit of black pepper then though. Personally, I wouldn't put the black pepper on, but it tastes nice. Cheers. 
So for our second cocktail today, we'll be making the ouzo lemonade. So the ingredients you'll need for this are um, ouzo, lemon juice, mint leaves, honey, ice and lemonade. Now I don't have any ouzo in, but what I do have is Sambuca. Um, it's got that same aniseedy taste. Um, now I used to drink Sambuca and lemonade when I was 18 and now I cannot stand the smell of the stuff. So for the duration of this um, cocktail masterclass, I will be using this to block the smell. So sorry for the voice that it's giving me, but it's got to be done. So it says we have to start by pouring the ouzo, in my case, Sambuca. So that is three tablespoons of Sambuca. One, two, three. I'm so glad I can't smell it. Okay, so then it says, add the lemon juice, add mint. It's really hard to talk <laughs> with this on. I might see if it's as bad as I remember it being. If I keep a distance, I can't smell it, so we might be okay, but I might need to put it back on. We shall see. Okay, so it says, add the lemon juice and the mint and then muddle. So add the lemon juice, so it says 2.5 tablespoons of lemon juice. One. Oh, 2.5. And half. Okay, okay. Then it says, add the mint and muddle. Now, apparently, someone said to me, before you put mint in it, you should slap it to release the flavours. I'm not sure how true this is and whether they're just trying to make me look even more stupid on these videos. Okay, I think that'll be enough. Okay, so then it says to muddle it together. So again, I've got my wooden spoon. Then it says to add the honey. So that is one teaspoon of honey. Oops. Okay, lid back on. And shake. Oh, it stinks. Okay, so now that's awful peg back on. It says to pour that into a glass. I don't know if you meant to, it doesn't say to get rid of the leaves, but pour it into a glass. Top it up with lemonade. stir maybe put some ice in it too another quick stir and there we go if you like aniseed you'll like this one if you don't then you won't. And if you don't like Sambuca or Ouzo, this isn't going to be one for you. Right. I'll give it a little try. Okay, so for our third cocktail, which is the Grecian Lime and Cucumber, it's kind of a two-parter. Um, so for the first part, I'm going to show you how to make cucumber juice. It's really easy. Um, but you're going to need a blender so you start by chopping up the cucumber 
putting it in the blender, blending it until it's a liquid. Okay, so once that's blending, it'll look something like that. Very disgusting. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is grab a glass of a bowl, put the cloth over the top and pour it onto it like that and that should apparently drain out oh it's doing it like that. and then you can give it a squeeze and that's how to make cucumber water okay now onto the cocktail part um, so for this one you're going to need it says three to four tablespoons of sipuro I don't know what that is and I don't have it in my cupboard but it does say you can use gin as an alternative um, so you need gin you need your cucumber juice that you've just made um, you need a quarter of a lime one tablespoon of sugar a pinch of salt three mint leaves tonic and ice okay okay so it says in a shaker god I'm getting some use out of this shaker today it says in a shaker muddle the mint leaf sugar salt and lime okay Got my mint leaves, my slapped mint leaves. Um, and it says for this one to put in three mint leaves. That's not a lot, is it? Okay, so the mint, sugar. So that was one teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon. Um, salt so it just says a pinch of salt I'll just try this. that's a pinch and the lime so it just says quarter of a lime i don't know if it means the juice or the actual just put an actual quarter of a lime in it ta-da just put a bit put a bit of that in That'll do. Way. Okay, and then it says muddle it again. Got my wooden spoon. Okay, so now it says to add in three to four tablespoons of sapuro or gin. I've got gin. Three to four tablespoons. That's a lot, isn't it? Okay, one, two, Three in a bit. Three in a bit. Okay. Then it says add in the cucumber juice. Here's some I made earlier. Like that. And ice. There we go. And then shake well. So I'll make sure my lid's on properly this time. <sighs> Here we go again. There we go. Pour into a glass. And it says to top up with tonic. Um, I guess if you don't like it this dry, you could probably put lemonade in instead. I imagine it would do the same thing. So. Ooh. Let's just give it a stir. It looks like a witch's cauldron, doesn't it? <laughs> I put some slices of cucumber in it around the sides to give it a little bit of extra flavour. So you just three, four, five, and then I'm going to pour in the rest of my tonic water and there we have it. And that is how you make a Grecian lime and cucumber cocktail.